exquisite bioelectrical knowledge possessed by the Oum Paleolithic culture over 13,000 years ago is revealed by their gigantic earthenware vessels. Fine examples of ancient Oum megaceramics have been recovered during residential construction projects and mound excavations undertaken by Lamana area landowners. One such find represents a giant, partly fragmented earthenware fermentation jar, seen here before repair, wrapped with protective cellophane. This robust type of megaceramic fermentation jar displays a perfectly hemispherical bottom and no shoulder text inscriptions because the vessel was designed for half burial during use with a very wide neck and thick rim to accommodate the large domed lid. Archaeological excavations conducted near Quevedo, Ecuador by Julio Viteri Gamboa and Olaf Holm from 1968 to 1976 show Oum megaceramic burial urns in situ, often stacked vertically within the tumuli, at sites with linear alignments of large circular burial mounds they estimated to be over 8,000 years in age. Recent surveys of the dense clusters of tumuli situated in the vicinity of the Lamana pyramids have identified hundreds of habitation sites, each site encompassing dozens of tumuli. Each of the tens of thousands of tumuli contains several megaceramic jars. A small group are displayed in a local archaeology museum in Quevedo, yet most of the megaceramic jars excavated by archaeologists decades ago have since disappeared into vaults at the Smithsonian and the Bank of Ecuador. Simpler earthenware jars without semiconductor inclusions were recovered in subterranean chambers at Tierra Dentro, Colombia. Spectacular hewn stone staircases spiral down into resonant volcanic tough rock, forming recessed entrances to the many small hypogea. Well-preserved geometric murals provide simple hieroglyphic phrases praising bioelectrical benefits granted by the infrasonic resonance of Jupiter as focused by the Great Pyramid, repeating the phrase, Rawaya. Ra Indra Kara Upama, meaning roaring, commencing granting of Jupiter, action of the highest. Thin-walled chicha fermentation pots and large burial urns have been excavated from hypogea and tumulus formations in San Agustin, Colombia. A repeating band of Paleo-Sanskrit hieroglyphs is roughly inscribed around the shoulder of the domed lid, reading Rauata Rauat Ra Rauata Rauat Ra Asvin, 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 meaning roaring and dowing, roaring granting of the two, the two, the two. The near perfection of the egg-like geometric form of Oum fermentation jars is only matched today by the master potters of Korea, who have maintained ancient traditional techniques of ongi fermentation vessels from their Neolithic Jomon ancestors. Traditional ongi pottery glaze requires firing temperatures of about 1,100 degrees Celsius, the Paleolithic origin of ongi making stretches much further back in time than previously suspected. Ancient hieroglyphic ligatures of the Paleo-Sanskrit language are still applied by Korean ongi potters to this day. Paired wavy lines circumscribing ongi vessels signify the votive phrase adhi ra, adhi ra, adhi ra, meaning delivering granting, delivering granting, delivering granting. The ongi literally breathe. A microscope reveals small holes in an ongi's surface. These tiny air holes are not found in any other types of pottery. These holes allow for gas to escape during the fermentation process, but are small enough so that rain and snow are kept out. Only letting air pass through, ongi become breathing pottery. So, ongi are placed in the most well-ventilated spots. Ongi are shaped differently according to region because each geographical area requires a unique rate of sunshine and amount of radiated heat for fermentation.
Is Ongi really different? Ongi was tested against stainless steel, ceramics, and glass containers. Denjang, a soybean paste known to have anti-carcinogenic effects, was fermented in each container for four weeks. Would the Duanjiang develop different anti-carcinogenic effects according to the containers? All other conditions are the same. The antacid effects of the Duanjiang in the Ongi were twice as high as those of the Duanjiang in other containers.